The Leap 1A engine is a dual rotor, variable stator, high bypass ratio turbofan power plant. The Leap 1A can power the A319, A320, and A321 aircrafts of the single aisle family within the adapted thrust ratings. Now we will look at the component location of the CFM Leap 1A engine. First we will look at the Full Authority Digital Engine Control or FADEX system components. The FADEX system components include two electronic engine control modules, a FADEX permanent magnet alternator, a pressure subsystem box and a rating plug. Both electronic engine controls or EEC A and B are installed on the right hand side of the fan case. The pressure subsystem box is installed on the right hand side of the fan case below the EECB. The rating plug on the PSS box changes the available thrust. The two EEC cooling blowers are installed on the right hand side of the fan case above the EEC A. FADEC, permanent magnet alternator is on the left hand side of the fan compartment, on the rear face of the gearbox. Next we will look at the ignition and starting system components. The two ignition exciters are at 6 o'clock position, on the HP compressor case. The two igniter plugs are installed on the combustor case at 5 and 7 o'clock position. The air turbine starter is located on the left-hand side of the fan compartment, on the front face of the gearbox. The starter air valve is fitted on the air turbine starter. Next we will look at fuel system component locations. The majority of the fuel system components are installed on the left-hand side of the fan case. The main fuel pump is installed on the left-hand side of the fan compartment, on the rear face of the gearbox. The fuel metering unit, main heat exchanger, IDG fuel oil heat exchanger, servo fuel heater, fuel return valve and fuel filter are located above the accessory gearbox on the left-hand side of the fan case. The split control unit servo valve assembly is installed on the left-hand side of the HP compressor case at 7 o'clock position. The fuel nozzles are fitted around the combustion chamber. Now we will look at the components in the air system. The air system comprises of several subsystems. To manage the compressor airflow, variable bleed valves, variable stator vanes, start bleed booster anti-ice valves, transient bleed valves are used. To cool some turbine parts, low pressure turbine active clearance control system, high pressure active clearance control system, modulated turbine cooling systems are used. All the major components are installed at the booster discharge and around the engine core. And now we will look at oil system components. The oil tank is installed on the right hand side of the fan case at 4 o'clock position. The lubrication unit is installed on the left hand side of the fan compartment, on the rear face of the gearbox. The oil filter is fitted inside the lubrication unit. The surface air cooling oil coolers are installed on the inner surface of the fan frame after the fan discharge vanes.